I'm here with Dr. Romano today to go over some questions on blood types. But Dr. Romano, I thought you were a chemistry guy. Where did you hear that? SDN? Yeah, that's where I heard it. Let me hear on SDN. Just ignore and do the opposite. That's your best um, piece of advice I can ever give you. I wrote bio notes that I want you to make sure you go over. It's a very scholarly manuscript that took me several months where I incorporated all the sciences. I'm not a dental student, I'm a professor of organic chemistry, but I span all the sciences. So I wanna share with you some ideas on how to go about doing a blood type question you'll see on the deck. So come around and let's have a look. I say to you that a man is type B blood and we write the type B blood as IBIO. So as you can see, you are heterozygous. And the woman is type A blood and I write to you IA and IO. So type A blood can be either written in the heterozygous form or homozygous if it was the same allele and you would write IA, IA. Now, what is the probability that their third child is a boy with type AB blood? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is let's take IA and IO and cross it with IB, IO in this type of Punnett square. If you multiply IA and IB, you get IA, IB, and you multiply IA with IO, you get IA and IO. IO and IB gives you the IB, IO, and IO, IO gives you the IO and an IO. So I'm hoping you can see that in order to get type AB blood, you would have a 25% chance. Now, the third child, that's meaningless. That's an independent event. So every event um, is independent of the next. So whether I had the third child or the second child, that's just a piece of information that's not gonna be helpful. So no matter how many children you have, each independent event occurs. So there's a 25% chance that this child will be type AB blood. Now to be a boy, the chances are a half. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply the two probabilities. The chance to be a boy is a half. The chance to be AB is a quarter. Multiply them together, you get one over eight or 12.5% chance to be a boy and to have color and to have the AB blood type. I hope this helps. Don't forget, blood is a connective tissue. And if I asked you, is, are, we, are we deriving the blood, which is the connective tissue from endoderm, ectoderm, and mesoderm? You're going to tell me mesoderm. I want you to go to my notes on all this. Make sure you know all your germ layers and look at the very challenging problems we have in the Dat Destroyer. All right, I hope this wraps this up and you have an idea on how to do blood typing. All right, bye-bye.